I knew we had the guys that could get the job done, and it was about executing it. You know, it's not a one-game season. You know, it's what 38 games into it now or more, and uh, we put the work in, and uh, this is well deserved for all the guys for all the hard work, all the stuff the fans don't see. You know, the reporters don't see. You know, getting treatment, the training staff keeping us sharp. You know, Nick, our fitness coach, keeping us sharp as well. So it's just accumulation of so many different things coming together at the right time. And now we're going to enjoy this for sure, but we have one more game to go. You talk about hard work. It was hard work tonight, obviously. Yeah. Conceding first, kind of New York getting back into it. So just talk about kind of the resiliency after it went kind of 2-1 and they were up on it to, to get back in. I feel like it's our mindset, you know, to just stay stay in the moment and stay in uh, focused um, and pushing each other and, and but staying positive. I think when we're staying positive with each other, uh, we're able to execute, and uh, we were able to get the job done. Anyone had said to you in the middle of that eight-game streak that you guys are going to be where you are now, uh, what do you think? I mean, I say, yeah, I mean, yep. I'm confident in all the guys yep. here, you know. Um, it, it doesn't define us when you're going through a, a you know, a dark time, mm -hmm. you know, it really, you, your character comes out, and I feel like everybody was able to lift each other up through that, mm -hmm. the hard, hard patch we took, but, uh, and, you know, now we're Eastern Conference champions, yep. and, and we're very happy about that and excited, but, you know, we want to be MLS Cup champions, so that's our mindset right now. You've been in MLS Cup before. Can you talk about this run compared to last year's run and what it means to you, you know, being a big-time contributor? Uh, I mean, you know, last year with KC was great, and I'm very proud of that. But this is a new year, and uh, I'm so so glad and blessed to be with the Revs. And uh, all the guys have been unbelievable. And I'm just, I'm just happy that we have this opportunity. You know, you don't get this opportunity very often. And uh, I just want us to make sure we're, we're enjoying this. And, uh, to be able to go into that game and, and have fun, whoever we're playing, LA or Seattle, uh, we need to be able to have fun because this is, you know, you you, you work your whole life and, and uh, your whole career to play in big games like this, and if you can't enjoy it, then there's no point in playing it. So uh, I feel that we're, we got to go in there and have fun, but uh, you know, we're just very excited. Talk about going up against Henri and potentially his his final game and just the challenge he posed for you guys this series. I mean, he's a legend. Uh, he, he makes things happen, and, and he did today. Again, um, you know, he's one of the best of all time for me, the best of all time. And uh, it was a pleasure playing against him. And uh, credit to him for having such an extraordinary career. And uh, all the best in whatever's next for him. How easy is it, or difficult is it to kind of have that mindset to where you guys are able to be resilient enough to overcome those two goals? Um, you know, it's it's a mindset that you have to build throughout the whole year. It doesn't just happen overnight. And I think it's something that uh, we were able to just gradually kind of get the camaraderie with, with the guys and get the, you know, the fans behind us as well that really pushed us to be able to get the result we needed tonight.